another thing uh, for God, if you're using a rotary tool, air tool, anything, if you can measure the strength, make sure you're between 10,000 RPM and 20,000 RPM. Above that, it's going to be jumpy. It's going to be so jumpy. So anyways, I told you first thing I like to do is the bulk hat. So this is mine. You see how it's nice and flush with the with the valve seat. Another thing, um, every time you do this, uh, after once you're done polishing, and polishing, you're gonna have to send it out to the machine shop unless you're gonna do it yourself. But so if if you have some markings on the seat, don't worry about it because you're gonna get cut. Or is it 30 degree or 40, 40 cut, 40, 45, or 90? It's three cuts, so don't worry about it. You can leave some markings. So see. See what I remove, where I'm at, all the way down. You see the difference between the aluminum and the metal. You see the color difference? Aluminum, metal. It's right half of the valve seat. I don't know how my perfect sizing right here I told you. Bam. So now check it out. You see how it's going all the way down? So that's the perfect size. If you can go ahead and any machine shop and try to find a valve, they have a bunch of valves there trash. Just make sure to take this measurement. 1.750. That's the perfect sizing. That's what worked for me. Good combo, good cam shop and everything, and then it gives you some good extra horsepower. So anyways, see the valve cut, boom. On this one here. You see the difference now? It won't go through. So that's my ball cut. So next step, check this out. I could tell you we're gonna flush the the aluminum into the valve on the guide valve guide. You see how this one it has more of um it's more down like right here. This is all the way down, and this one is like a wall. So we're gonna try to make this one like this one here. So we're gonna shave this one all the way down like around here so it can look like like this side right here you see how it's down see the floor it's lower and this one is higher we're gonna get rid of this one we're gonna make it lower all the way from here all the way down and then we're gonna remove all this ex extra aluminum right here flush to the valve guide and then exhaust outside you can really see how much but you see all the aluminum see all the aluminum right there You see all the aluminum right there, the same way. And also this little belly right here. I need to lift it so you can see right there, all the aluminum excess. So you'll see the final result. I have some videos on Instagram like always, 13B underscore Dorito. Let's check it out. Boy, that does my ball cut. They want to check it out again. Looks messy because that's the first cut, but it's still going to get it smooth. It's going to look way better. So the first step, a ball cut, I'm going to go ahead and do that on all the other intake ones and then on the other head. So that's about it. Stay tuned. Alright, quick update. After doing the, the ball cut on all of them, another thing you're going to make sure, you're going to make sure you see the aluminum with the uh, seat, it's all the way blend in. You're going to have to, you're going to have to fight past your finger. And make sure your finger won't get cut on the won't get stopped on the on the valve seat. So make sure it's nice and flush, nice and smooth the transition. Make sure it's one. Like it was never there. So okay now. Quick on this one right here. Remember I told you? Remember I told you this one right here? It has to be cut down like this side in here. So that's what we have to do. This side has to look like this one. So now what? Check this out. You see the difference? This one here and this one already cutting down. See, focus on this one. This one here and this one here. You can see the difference. So that's what I did, I told you. We're gonna make this side. We're gonna make this side. It's like the right side. So you see what I did? Boom, all the way down. And same in here. So what I cut what I call this is making a heart. 
so all I do, I use this one, the diamond one, like a like an egg shape or, or like a little heart. And you go here, you go down, and you go from here all the way up here, and from here all the way up here, you're making a heart, like backwards, a heart shape, heart, a heart, heart, heart. So you focus on this one here, boom, and you grind it down. Your point level is gonna be the guide. So your point level is gonna be the guide right here. So we're gonna have to flush it. You see, it's already getting flush. The valve on the on the aluminum. That says gonna have to be all the way around. So all this meat right here is gonna have to be gone. That's about it. That's the next step. Bowl down, then that, and then we keep going. So I'm gonna do the same thing on all the other intakes. Once we're done on that, we're gonna do the same thing on the exhaust. So that's the update. Okay, another quick update. Check it out. You see all this meat in here? I haven't even done this one here. Now check this one out. You see how I'm flushing it into the guide? Bam. Same the other one. You see? Bam. So what I'm doing right now, I'm getting, I'm take, taking material off, uh, which is aluminum off. I'm using that, this one right here, those right here, clean it up, loving it, clean it with a wire, a wire brush and then adding some grease on it so it won't get clogged, but yeah, that's how it's looking, now you guys getting the idea. Now since I have the long ones, those are long, I'm just cleaning it on the side.